A tense scene erupts in Oceanside. Dozens of people marching in opposition to Islamic law. They face off with counter protesters. Good evening, I'm Emily Thode. Vanessa Van Hefty has the night off. Today's protest is just one of dozens across the U.S. In Seattle, police arrested people after fights broke out. And new at 5, 10 News reporter Hannah Mullins is joining us from Oceanside. And Hannah, at one point, things got pretty heated. USA! USA! This group took a stand against strict Islamic law. To protect our constitution and ensure that it stays here. We are tolerant, but I won't, <laughs> I'm not tolerant to people who will hurt people for their beliefs. Linda Reedy talked about a culture of rape and murder. They commit female genital mutilation. Uh, they allow little girls to be married to grown men. Then we heard from people protesting them. Immigrants are welcome here. Yeah, we're all against that. She thought they were anti-Muslim, and some are. I don't really understand their message. She's like promoting people that would kill her. As they crossed paths just feet apart, they kept marching and shouting louder and louder. There is no Sharia law in America. That's not a problem. Answer my question. The messages on both sides seem mixed. That's ridiculous. We're not racist. Get behind the yellow line. Police pushed them apart. And they took a counter protester down. The shouting match continued as two Muslim men spoke about freedom of religion. It's in the Constitution. I noticed two high school students and a Navy vet stayed back to have a frank discussion. What is your biggest concern of what this march is for? Anti Muslim. I don't. Yeah, I don't. Others followed. All that stuff is on an extreme fringe. And they all agreed on freedom of speech. That's my opinion. I have a right to that in America. Hannah Mullins, 10 News.